ਦੱਸਦਾ ਉਹਦੇ seeing the hills and wondering how we could ride down them. It just was the beginning of being able to for people to open their eyes and think actually I could ride my bike here. It's a tale that's never been told before. Around 84, 85, clearly remember it being a rally Maverick 15 speed, all singing, all dancing, steel mountain bike. I got my first mountain bike. Um Oh, the little car, I think it was. It's oh. a Peugeot. Yeah, yeah, ten speed Peugeot. <laughs> Everyone looked really cool in their bright lycra. It was just something that, that we'd not seen before. And there was a time in the 80s when there were a whole bunch of new people coming in who were had never been on a mountain bike and got onto one and just thought that was the most awesome thing. Yeah, me and my mate used to go out, you know, we'd have to end up carrying the bikes half the way and he'd be like, yeah, we should be in mountain bike adverts. <laughs> the ability that you can go anywhere on a mountain bike just gives people that want that adventure some, something and gave them something new, I think. There's a whole lot of history that really hasn't been covered um, or if it has, it's on paper and it's at the bottom of people's magazine piles. The UK is going to get to tell its side of the story. You didn't put that on tape, did you? I don't know anything about it. Where the history's come from, I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know what. I've heard of all that. I've heard of it, but you know, a little information is dangerous. I mean, about all, all the clunkers thing in America. I know a bit about that, but not a lot. Not a lot. This is a perfect opportunity in terms of timing to start to corral and bring together um, all this history. A lot of the people involved here. I'll say this sort of time and cheap are getting up there in years so it's a good chance to get it all uh, recorded and, and saved. Brilliantly the, the sport has evolved from a point where at one point everything was about competition everything was about how fast can you go how efficient is it these days the 29 inch wheel is transformed it and it makes it fun of way more than it ever used to be and the beauty of what's happened over the last few years with enduro and fat bikes everything's just kind of calmed down it's about how much you can smile now some of the storytelling that we can unearth through this process i think it's really exciting and i think it's really worth celebrating you're right yeah come on get your hand in your pocket support the film now <laughs> yeah, what he said, yeah, yeah. Um, put some money in, put some money in. I'm sure we'll get something out of it. We get out of it. You get a t-shirt? Yeah, we'll get a t-shirt, get a t-shirt. Okay. Most expensive t-shirt you'll ever own. <laughs> yeah.